Hi, this is Dr. Karens, and welcome to week three of Managing Teams in Conflict. Let's take a look at our roadmap, where we're going and how we're going to get there, because the arrival is going to be a lot sooner than we anticipate. My number one outcome and result that I desire for each one of you is that God would amaze you, that you would have a breakthrough uh, personally, professionally, or spiritually, whatever you might need, somewhere as a result of some aspect of this class. So that's our overarching goal. We're reading in Mix Company to gain some better understanding of the principles and theories and foundation of managing teams in conflict. We're also uh, engaging in forum discussions and case studies and uh, cooperative exams in order to be able to learn how to apply the material that we're, we're learning. And then we're also trying to gain a better commitment to our values and our own faith journey through the reflections of every good endeavor. That's our roadmap. So I just ask you to continue to keep that in front of you as we continue to move forward. Let's take a little moment to review your discussion this past week on the on the penguins. And uh, I enjoyed uh, your reflections and uh, what your your insights uh, that that you had with conforming. And uh, clearly, our text talks about conforming and as being an aspect of a desire to fit in and to be socially acceptable. And conforming is, is a, a major element of group behavior and group dynamics and decision making and it's going to be another aspect that you're going to see more of. What I'd like to talk about in addition to that is something that uh, several of you highlighted was the fact of communication uh, and the chicks trying to communicate to uh, the adult penguin. And your text will tell us that all communication is ambiguous, whether it's verbal or nonverbal. And so that's important for us to uh, realize and recognize uh, the effects of, of that and what it can be and how can we be more effective in our communication. And so your text also identifies for you uh, a competency model or, or a way of looking at communication as a means for us to improve our effectiveness. And clearly there was some signaling going on uh, that wasn't uh, taken into account uh, by either the adult penguins or the chick penguins uh, that would have been maybe beneficial to the outcome. So let's examine this particular model and think about that as we continue to move forward, especially when it relates to uh, group decision making. And how do we improve our communication is through practice, practice, practice. And that will help us have better sustainable relationships. And that would have made a difference for at least one of these baby chicks. Scripture also tells us that we need to be quick to listen and slow to speak and slow to get angry. This week you have also a, a major group assignment and uh, it can be confusing sometimes when we talk about studying groups and group assignments and you don't know whether that means you're to do this as an individual or as a group. So I want to be clear, this is an assignment that you will do with at least one or two other colleagues in the class. So in groups of two or three you are to analyze the film 42, The Jackie Robinson Story. And in addition, you're to create a PowerPoint presentation that's at least three minutes in length. You will be judged on that uh, presentation by your content, delivery, and your visuals. And there's a rubric uh, that's also uh, included that you'll be able to see how that will be. Also, uh, in the uh, details are some areas that you could look at for things to consider when you're watching the film as part of your analysis. Uh, have some fun with this. Uh, be creative, uh, be thoughtful, uh, make sure that uh, you're thorough uh, with it as well. So I'm looking forward to that. That's this week uh, in groups of two or three, 42, the Jackie Robinson Story, a group presentation. Also this week, uh, you need to uh, send off to me uh, by a self-selected team, whether you uh, self-select by rock, paper, scissors, however you choose one or two other colleagues, uh, for groups of two or three to uh, do a group paper where you will study a group. And this is where it can get a little confusing. That group should be uh, of maybe six people or more. Uh, if you do less than six, you can do that. Uh, however, uh, it means that your analysis may not be something that uh, you can actually uh, count on because you may have one or two outliers that can skew the overall results. So I recommend you study a group of, of at least six people. So uh, check your syllabus, 
uh, check Sakai to see what you need to include uh, in that group study proposal and uh, get your group selected and uh, let me know what paper you're going to write and what group you're going to study. And so in closing, from time to time, uh, there may be some elements you'll discover in uh, Sakai where uh, something may be stated differently in a, one or two different places. The syllabus is my overarching document. Uh, however, if there are some inconsistencies and you're not sure, uh, send me a question. Don't worry about bothering me and say if it's seemingly even incidental. Uh, I'd like to have uh, those areas. Uh, sometimes Sakai has a mind of its own. Sometimes it could be me tweaking an assignment and I forget to make a, an important uh, change somewhere else. Uh, it's important to also know that if there are inconsistencies in assignments and you uh, respond in, in one way, uh, I count everything that you do. So if there's an inconsistency on my part, that does not negate what you've done. Also, uh, just a reminder, the daily making mention of you in my prayers that God would amaze you and you can uh, participate in praying for your colleagues as well for breakthrough. And uh, just some reminders also uh, looking ahead in week six, there'll be another forum discussion where you'll work together in groups of two or three, analyzing a conflict involving Hormel Corporation. It's called the American Dream. It's uh, stated there for you. And then in group uh, week eight, you'll have your group paper that you'll turn in. And then week nine, a cooperative exam where you'll take that exam in groups of two or more. And it can be an entire class. That's up to however you want to do it. So remember the virtual classroom never sleeps. And with that, look ahead and plan. Take care and may God amaze you.